is up everyone welcome back to the crypto blitz your home for your crypto fix i'm your host ripple van winkle hopefully everyone had an amazing thanksgiving an amazing time off from work today is black friday hopefully you're not out shopping i know it's crazy out there i used to do the whole black friday thing when you wake up at 4 a.m you would head over to your local store sit outside wait in line trying to be one of those lucky top 50 people to get a special deal like on a tv usually tvs were a big thing or the hottest toy out there a lot of christmas shopping is done today you know what i won't be doing any in-store black friday shopping if i do pick up anything it will be online only i just don't have the patience nor the time to sit in these lines and deal with these people to be honest with you i'd rather just sit back at my computer put the order in and away she goes wait for the old delivery guy to show up and drop it off today my new desk should be coming in hopefully 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 amazon says it is i'm gonna redo my office i got the new desk got the new pc the new mic the arm the little mixer to go with it. I'm excited. I just wanted to get here so I can set this thing up. I need more room on my desk. I got a bigger desk coming in, like an L-shaped desk. Can hold a dual PC setup, plenty of room and space. I'm excited for it. But in this video, we got a lot to go over. Now, we'll be talking Lux Lines because your time is running out. We're talking Kathy Wood's statements and what she's been doing. It's going to be no surprise to you once we go over this. We're going to talk about the XRP supply and demand. Binance, again, in the news. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing as Binance headlines for quite some time moving forward. Ripple CEO, yeah, that's Brad Gallinghouse. We got some major statements coming out of him. Then we're going to go, go over the Bitcoin health chart. And grayscale XRP. So without further ado, let's jump into this. Bitcoin currently up 1.2% in the past 24 hours, coming in at $37,788. Ethereum coming in at $2,104. It is up 2.26%. USDT is coming in as dollar peg, as USDC is coming in at 99 cents, and XRP. It's holding, folks. It's holding at 59 to 60 cent region. We are looking for that push up to 66 cents. It is up almost 1% in the past 24 hours. Total cryptocurrency market cap, 1 trillion 438 billion. We are pushing up. We are getting higher. <clears throat> Before you know it, it's going to be 2 trillion, and we're going to be in full bull mode. Pay attention. Our time is running out. Lux Lines, if you're not part of my NFT project, I'm telling you right now, your time, it's running out. And on December 1st, payouts for the month for any NFTs purchased in the month of November, will be getting a 30% XRP back right to their wallet based on the project's monthly revenue. You're not going to want to miss this. There's only 54 superheroes left in stock. That's it. 54. $165 each. It's absolutely nothing, folks. And there is some big news on Horizon. I've been warning you for quite some time. And it's it's almost up. The time is almost up. And when I announce the news that is coming out, it is going to be too late. Now is the time to get in, especially when these prices, the direct prices from us are this low. Because I have a feeling this thing's about to take a crazy and wild ride. Check it out, LuxLionsNFT.com, credit card or XRP accepted. Whalewire, just in, ARK Investor CEO, Kathy Wood, quietly, very quietly, is decreasing her Bitcoin exposure while publicly touting Bitcoin's bullish outlook. Just last week, Kathy Wood made headlines for pending unrealistic Bitcoin predictions, claiming it's going to surge close to $1.5 million. Contrary to a public statement, guess what Kathy Wood's been doing? She's been quietly and secretly dumping Bitcoin. That's right, 700,000 shares of Bitcoin's Grayscale Trust has been dumped through her ARK ETF, decreasing her exposure significantly. This is the same thing that she did back in 2021. Pay attention. Woods was urging people to buy Tesla shares and set ARK's price target to 3000 all while secretly dumping her biz position more than 84%. Folks, when these people come out and they're like, oh, Bitcoin's going to the moon. Bitcoin's going to a million dollars. You know what they're doing? They're getting you hyped. They're getting you pumped. They're trying to make you FOMO and then secretly... You're buying their bags because they are using you as exit liquidity. She did this back in 2021 with Tesla. She's doing it right now with her Bitcoin position. 
If you think these people are out there to help you, to protect you, you're wrong. They're using you as exit liquidity. Brad Gong, uh, not Brad Gong, how's, oof. Brad Kimes, a man, he put this out. Love this. This is absolutely amazing. He goes, what supply and demand effects from XRP's ETP, which is going live next month, and ETFs would look like for an asset with XRP that would have a growing demand for its use case? Look at this. Let me blow this up. We got XRP sitting here in the middle. We got the ETP and the FT, ETF investment demand, which is going to take XRP out of supply. Remember, the more XRP that comes out of supply, the higher the price is going to go. It's that simple calculation that we use. Supplies plus demand is going to give you price. Uphold Ripple. They're going to be, be, do, be doing a payment supply. And they're going to start out with $5 billion. They will be removing XRP from the supply, folks. And in the demand, the market participants and payments that go through uphold that cycle right back into the XRP supply. Then we got the custody and lockup. What's going to happen? It's simple. Price effect over time is going to help drive the value of XRP up. The more XRP that is bought up, the more that is taken out of the supply, the more of a demand we have for XRP, the higher the price is going to go. That's how simple this is. There's no crazy formula needed. There's no crazy speculation needed. This is based on the supply and demand theory that has been around for decades beyond decades beyond decades. It's simple how it works. If there is an item out there and someone wants it or mass amounts of people want it and it's being used, what happens to it? It gets removed and then the value rises. We can use this for any of the hottest toys out there. If you look for, let's say, the hottest toy that's on the shelf right now for Christmas and you go to buy it through the primary market, through your primary shop, it gets sold out. And people really want that item because there is, there is a demand for it. What happens? The secondary prices of that item shoot through the roof. The same is going to happen with XRP. The same exact thing. Binance settlement with U.S. authorities is positive for crypto as well as the exchange JP Morgan's Townton. They're spot on. That's exactly what we've been saying. The largest exchange who we know is involved in corruption, manipulation, pump and dumps is finally removed from the picture. What do you think is going to happen to the overall cryptocurrency markets? Who do you think now is going to be stepping in? I have been preaching this all week. You got rid of the worst, the largest bad actor out there, Binance. And CZ is going to jail. No doubt about it. Throw him up there on the crypto Mount Rushmore. Along with Justin Sun will be up there as well. Sam Baker fried. A couple of little bad actors showed you that picture. But now the fact is, is that Binance can no longer manipulate and control these markets. You think the U.S. institutions knew what was going on? Of course they did. Do you think they're that stupid? Of course they aren't. Why do you think they haven't entered the space just yet? Because they knew about the manipulation going on at Binance. Who had billions beyond billions of dollars and could do whatever he wanted. Did you think these institutions wanted to get into a billion dollar bid off war of Binance? No, not at all. But now he's out the equation. So now it's time for the cryptocurrency markets to do what they were set out to do. <coughs> Ripple CEO reveals insight on whether the SEC case is done and dusted. Here's the article. Ripple's CEO, Brad Gallinghouse, has shed light on whether the case with the SEC is now done and dusted and Ripple streaked the victory against the U.S. regulator. Speaking at a fireside, fireside chat at the D.C. Tech Week, you know, uh, just happened pretty recent, I believe it was uh, last month, Gallinghouse contended that the SEC has suffered losses on crucial aspects and matters of significance in the Ripple case. He stated that the SEC has lost on everything that matters. The Ripple CEO noted that whether the case is done and dusted hinges on the SEC's decision to pursue an appeal. Gollinghouse further highlighted that if the SEC chose to escalate the appeal process, the impact of its losses would be magnified. Additionally, he reiterated that Ripple is ready to follow up on a case with the U.S. Supreme Court if the circumstances wanted such. Gollinghouse conveyed a strong belief that the SEC would not prevail at the Supreme Court, highlighting that the highlighted court has historically not been favorable to regulators. I don't think that the SEC wants to take it there, folks. 
Yeah, they're wasting a lot of taxpayers' money, but they're also wasting a lot of their time. Pat, I'll put this out. The vision will become a reality with the automated market maker XLS30. Great things are coming for the XRP ledger and its ecosystem. Deep, fair pools of liquidity between hundreds of assets that anyone in the world can contribute to and draw off of even as they make payments. XLS30? Automated market makers, it's coming. Mickey B. Fresh has covered this in so much depth. If you don't follow Mickey B. Fresh, you need to go give him a follow. You need to give it a listen to what he's talking about. These AMAs, the automated market makers, are what the banks know, what the banks are used to. This is going to help drive up the price of XRP. We are just waiting for it to get passed through, folks, and it's coming. It's going to get passed through. BTC Healthy Structure surges past the $100,000 mark. It's a strategic approach. Therefore, revisiting 29 to 31,000 range to establish a robust bullish structure is much healthier. A direct ascent to 48K without having robust structure could precipitate a substantial crash over the events from March 2020. This is what we're looking at. He's thinking we might see a little bit of a breakdown from Bitcoin, which is not bad. Hold that 29 to 31,000. I really don't want to see Bitcoin go below 34, 35,000, to be honest with you. But we get above 48K, folks. Telling you my personal predictions and feelings on this, Bitcoin needs to get above 40 to 42,000. This would probably drive the cryptocurrency market cap close to that two trillion dollar mark, and we can flip bullish. Is one more little slight correction? Is it in order? Is it in store? Could it happen? 100% it could happen. There's no doubts about it. Pay attention to Bitcoin chart because Bitcoin has yet to run yet. Remember, the Bitcoin is going to go first, followed by Ethereum and then the alts. We have not yet entered the bull market just yet. We are still a prima bull. We're not there just yet. But as these days go on, we are getting there. 2024 is going to be a very magical year for crypto. Remember that. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.